Hi, Mark Romero here. Welcome to 2017. So excited to be sharing this new year with you. You know, this is a time of year, let's face it, where we all kind of revisit our goals, look at what we accomplished last year, kind of set our sights on the new year and how it is that we're going to break things through. You know, many people focus on health and losing weight or changing their career and making more money. I mean, those kind of seem to be the main areas. I was in the gym the other day place was loaded with all kinds of faces I hadn't seen before, which is great, man. I love it that people are committed to making a change and transforming their physical health. But one of the things I also noticed is that we have a tendency to kind of just focus most of our energy upon those, those aspects of health and making more money and, and transforming our careers or maybe fulfilling our purpose in life. And that's just a minute aspect of who and what we are. We can go through life just playing a few strings. We can actually play beautiful music. But what I want to talk to you today is about my new take on string theory. It has nothing to do with physics. Well, maybe it does, okay? But I call it the Mark Romero six string theory. And that is where we really commit ourselves to creating a vision for the six facets of our lives and setting goals and objectives, not just for the career, not for just transforming and losing those extra pounds, but also to open up to creating breakthroughs in other facets of our lives. Because I don't think there's a single one of us here that doesn't want to play beautiful music throughout our lives, that doesn't want to create a breakthrough, that doesn't want to open up to new possibilities, that doesn't want to express ourselves at a higher level in 2017, right? We all want to. I mean, let's face it, this is part of life, is about expansion and growth and evolution. But in order to truly open up to your possibility and your potential, you got to play all the strings. Just think about it. sounds much more full and complete. So in addition to prosperity, in addition to transforming your work, your career, however that looks for you, in addition to maybe losing this extra pounds, what is your vision and your goal for your spirituality? What is your dream and ambition to have in deepening your faith, opening up to more enhanced connection, however that looks for you? Maybe opening to more possibility in that aspect of your life. Create a context and a vision to unfold your life into for that particular string or facet of your life. What is your dream for your relationships? What's the dream for the relationship with the person you see in the mirror every morning? What's the dream with the significant other or maybe friends or maybe people that you work with? Get clear on what that looks like. And then, of course, one of the strings that we all have a tendency to forget once in a while is, what are you going to do for fun in life? What are you going to do for more joy, more fulfillment? Create that context. Those are the six strings. So we have our health, our relationships, our spirituality, our prosperity, our career, our work, and the joy, the happiness, the fun, the fulfillment. I really want to challenge you to create a goal. One of the things that I love to do is that I go out at the end of 2017 and I look back at the year and I write out how each of those six facets of my life is going to look. Just a paragraph of each one. And then I go through and I set goals, how I'm going to get there. And then, of course, the third step, you got to get into action. As much as I love to just visualize and go sit on my sofa and not do anything, you got to implement that aspect. We still do live here in the material world. And that means we have to get off our posteriors and move forward and take action steps. Yes, fears are going to arise. Yes, challenges are going to arise. Hallelujah. Because that means we're getting pushed. That means we're moving beyond where we've been. The time is now to expand into the next higher expression of who and what we are. And the more of us that play our music and reflect that out into the world, the more that we're going to create positive change, not only in our own lives, but in the world that we live in. So, hey, I'd love to hear from you. What are you committed to creating in these facets of your life? You know, what is it that you'd like to share? What is it that you'd like to make a declaration? Hey, words and are powerful. Write them down. Share your comments. 
ask questions. And I just really want to give you an extra boost of some great energy and help you to accomplish what it is that you're bringing forward in your life this year. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. I wish you all the blessings in 2017. Have a happy and harmonious year and a happy and harmonious day. Thanks a lot.